Hello, my fire dragons. This is your reading for April 5th to 11th, 2021. Welcome to my Aries Leo Sag. Also, um, if you um, want to check out your other energies as well. So what we have here is we have uh, the Five of Wands. Um, we have the Nine of Swords. And then we have the Empress and the Hermit in Reverse. So overall, there's something that's been causing you. There's a lot of fighting. Okay, the Five of Wands. Everybody's just up in arms. And, um, excuse me, with the Nine of Swords, you can be getting um, nightmares or intense anxiety from it. Um, the Empress. Um, could be a Libra that's um, causing this, um, or um, so the Empress is about sort of planting new seeds. Um, I think that's sort of what you need to think about doing um, to get beyond whatever situation this is that's causing you a great amount of stress. Um, it could be a female. Um, we have the hermit in reverse. Now, the hermit is, um, uh, right now in this picture, the hermit, when he's in reverse, he's looking, um, ahead. So, I don't know if you're avoiding, um, soul searching and, um, you're just putting yourself in a bad sort of isolation where there's loneliness or withdrawal um, or if it means that you're actually um, outwardly starting to move ahead out of this so I'm not too sure it could also be um, a Virgo as well with the hermit so let's go ahead and pull out um, some Let's see what the other cards have for you guys. So let's start with Aries, okay? Let's see how this situation is dealing with Aries. Okay, so, huh, Aries, your, your queen and king of cups are upside down. Um, you're obviously somebody who is, um, who you perceive or is either in your energy or still in your energy as your um your soulmate okay having two of the same but you're both reversed um could be a soulmate could not be a soulmate with these um in reverse it could um it seems like there's a lot of uh emotional uh bad stuff going on could be manipulation lots of insecurity um this is not good and this is actually stopping you and I'm not saying, I get the feeling like it's stopping you from finding uh, your, uh, your, your true um, love. And you're in some sort of conflict. And um, I, just because it's so major, and like this going through here... Um, you need to make sure that, and look, this is actually mirroring the hermit. So, um, I, I hope that the time that you're spending in isolation, that you're doing it productively. Um, and it could be that it's a perceived, um, mate, or maybe you're married and, um, that's not working out, or maybe you're together or it's cups. So that's why I'm going into the relationship right away. It could be, it's a king and a queen. So it doesn't even say that it's a child. It says that it's actually, uh, a, a an age wise sort of equal. It could be work. I have no pentacles. So that's why I'm pulling out the love thing because, um, this all says that it's, it's to do with your romantic situation. So you and, um, whatever your divine, um, masculine or feminine, whoever you are, it doesn't matter because both are in reverse. There's a lot of crap going on here and that's not good. Okay. You just need to stop it. And then look, this is the partnership. So you need to stop and contemplate. Um, you need to just go within in a, in a good way. 
Um, yeah, look, you have, at the bottom of the deck, it's the Queen of Pentacles, so I really get the feeling this is you. Now, it could also be, if you're a guy, don't worry about it, okay? It's just feminine energy. But she's sort of, she's abundant, but right now, with this reading, she's kind of looking down. And kind of, like, things are not going the way that they should be. Yeah, so you do have a new beginning, but... Um, you have to work towards it and you have to face whatever this is. You have to really sit back and see what kind of relationship this is. Was it just a fight or is there more to it? Okay, Aries, so that's pretty, um, that's pretty deep. Okay, um, let's go on to Leo. Wow, so Leo, <laughs> you're, um, this is actually great. So whatever you've done, your empress has turned into justice. So you planting these seeds, you've actually forged ahead away from this nightmare and away from all this bitter medicine fighting. So A, congratulations. Justice can also be um, Libra. Okay. Um, so uh, we have two Libras here. So I don't know, either you have Libra heavy in your chart or maybe you were dealing with a Libra. We also have the fool. So it could also be an air sign. And again, you can have your sign in your chart. But this justice is giving you a new beginning. Okay, you're, um, you're, you're, you're dropping all of the heaviness and you're moving on. And you're going to be celebrating, right? You're moving towards happiness, okay? So um, you're, you know, like, congratulations. Um, it's, it's, it's just about harmony and freedom, right? Like, look at this fool. He looks so free. Okay, it's like, oh, right? So it's almost like you've released everything that needed to be released and you're moving and forging ahead. And you know what? Um, that's amazing. So because you don't get to this, um, I'm surprised you don't have the sun, but even if you look at the fool, there's a sun in the top corner. Um, you've, you've went through something big and you're really coming out of it. So out of these cards, out of seven cards, you there's four major arcana to make this. So you're really moving ahead, which is amazing, right? Like, good for you. So a lot of times we, once we're out of it, we don't look at how far we've come. And I think that that's a great thing for you. Uh, you know, look how far you've come, but look at where you're going. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, so for my Sagittarius, oh, we got four. Okay, so we have, <laughs> so for my Sagittarius. <laughs> We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Moon in the upright and the Knight of Wands in reverse. So with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, um, something, you may be planning for something, um, but it, it's in reverse, so you didn't plan properly. Something stopped you or you stopped you from planning properly. We move to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and this says that, um, oh, you know what? I'm wondering if you didn't. So this talks about um, overworking. So I'm wondering if you almost were overworking and you couldn't plan um, because you were too held up. And you were also overworking, and so you get the moon. Okay, now this could also be a Scorpio. I also associate it with Cancer because it is um, their sign, their planet is the moon. But um, so uh, you're not seeing or you weren't seeing the full picture, okay? And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse and that's, um, it sort of it delays, right? So um, and being a fire sign, um, your, your one positive wand is upside down. So you need to, um, honestly, I just watch the work, watch how much work is consuming you. Watch, um, uh, watch your back. Okay. With the moon and make sure that it's not stopping you from moving ahead. Okay. Watch this energy. Um, yeah. And it's funny because this moon card, it, it's, I, I just got, it's almost like a bunch of things are barking at the moon. So it's like, 
it's not even a, a, a truth that's being hidden. It's actually something that's almost out there and it's actually just not being taken care of. And I'm not saying by you, I'm just saying that you're here working, working, working. There's something here that's, um, that's, that you can't see. There's definitely something and it's, it's causing, um, it's sort of delaying you and it might be causing you frustration for the week. So yeah, you have the queen of pentacles on the other side. I think you're, and with this for you guys, okay, you're looking at that pentacle and it's just like, oh, how do I get there? How do I get to her? Right? So, and it's, um, yeah. So, yeah, it, you just, um, I just sort of have a sigh. <laughs> If that makes sense, it's just like, ugh. so I would suggest, especially, um, Leo, you guys seem to be taking care of, you guys are good. For my Aries and my Sag, guys, go and find your fire, okay? I think you guys need to remove yourselves, so Aries from this situation, Sag from this situation, and you need to go and you need to find your fire, find your passion, okay? And, and do something, try something new. Try something that takes you into perhaps an area of you that you liked that you didn't know um, or that you didn't know to delve into, okay? So uh, just uh, try to move away from, so I know that here you have the Four of Swords, but I don't want you dwelling on this too much. I think that's going back and having knowledge, but don't make these thoughts your thoughts 24-7, okay? Y you can't. Um, or else you're, watch, because what you think about is what you're creating, okay? So, um, your advice is dolphin, and this is fantastic. Don't worry, be happy, okay? Now that song's in my head, right? Do, 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 do. So, now let's see what we have to say about this. So don't worry, be happy. Um, like I said, go find a passion. Go, um, I, I sort of just get this feeling like you guys, it, it's it's going to be moving forward, right? New things are going to be happening and um, just don't get lost in yourself in a bad way, okay? The dolphin has the spiritual ability to uplift your spirits with its friendly, playful nature. Escape from the stress of life by being more relaxed and doing more of what you enjoy. Pursue your creative passions and use your energy in a more productive way. Try not to worry about issues you have no control over. Okay? This worrying can become a habit, so by taking a more relaxed and laid back attitude, you can conquer your stress and become more calm and content. Content, not content, content. Your mantra, I love to be playful and let go of worry. And I think you guys, so Leo, you're embracing this 120%. And my other two fire signs, you guys need to, uh, like I said, find that playful nature. Okay, find your wands. Okay, guys, have a wonderful week. I will see you next week. And well, there's also a new moon reading coming up at the end of this week. So watch for that. Okay, all the best, my fire dragons.